You're trying to guess a three-letter password that uses only letters A, E, I, Y, O, U, and Y, and sometimes Y, he, he. Letters can be used more than once. Find the probability that you pick the correct password, U. Assuming that you are not just trying out actual words, because I'm not sure what other words there are. Uh, you guess there's I, but just U. So there is a, let's see here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. And letters can be used more than once. There's a one in six chance that you pick the correct first letter, Y. After you've picked that, there's a one in six chance that you pick the second letter, right? O. And then there's a one in six chance that you pick the third letter right. One over six times one over six times one over six. This is like the fundamental counting principle, but with probability. So the, since these are independent events, because you could pick YYY, which is a really, really, really funny password. I would totally make my, uh, my combination YYY, as in why are you trying to pick my password? So if you do one over six, well, let's just multiply straight across. One times one times one, that's one. And six times six times six is 216. So there's a one in a 216 chance that you get this correct, which is 0 0.00. .00 four six two repeating which is zero point four six two repeating percent pretty low but you do have a better chance of getting uh getting this correct uh than you would be uh calling your friend from the previous example you're trying to guess a three-letter password that uses A, E, I, O, U, and Y. Letters cannot be used more than once. Find the probability you pick the correct password, A, I, E. So there's a one in six chance that you pick the correct in the beginning. And then if you haven't used that, then the you've got a one in five chance, right? Because the second event is that you've already picked A, then there's one, two, three, four, five more things, and the probability of picking an I is one in five. And once you've picked I, there's a one, two, three, four, a one in four chance that you're gonna pick the last letter correctly, the E, leaving the O, U, and Y. I guess that guy changed his password because you picked his locks. One times one times one is still one. Six times five times four is 120, so you actually have a 1 in 120 shot, which is slightly better than our last one, which is a 0 0.0083 repeating, which is 0 0.83 repeating percent. So almost, wait, is that twice, twice as probable? Yeah, twice as probable as before, I believe. Very good. No, not exactly. Is that... No, it's not. How complex and strange. I love it. So you're playing a game with some friends. The winner is determined when a player gets two cards of the same suit. You draw a card and get a heart. What's the probability that the second card will be a heart? So this is a 52 card, 52 card deck, I'm assuming. And there are 13 of each suit. So you have a 13 out of 52 chance, which by the way, is one out of four of picking your first heart. you've got a one in four chance of picking the heart. Now the problem is, is once you've picked a heart, if you don't put it back in the deck, now there's one less heart, which means that there's 12 out of 52 hearts. There's 12 hearts out of the 51, excuse me, because you actually pulled out that card, didn't you? There's a 12 out of 51 chance of picking another heart. So there you get 12 out of 51 And we multiply straight across, and we unfortunately, well, let's cross, uh, cross reduce there if that's okay. Uh, that's going to be, well, that's three, one. So that's three out of 51. If you hate that, just do 12 over four times 51, which is 204 and reduce. You'd still get three out of 51. Which, well, so I guess actually I already answered the question. The probability that the second card will get a heart is 12 out of 51. So what I'm doing over here is finding the probability of winning the game, which at any given attempt is about 5.88%.
But since it says once you've once you've drawn that, it's the probability that the second card will be a heart, given that you already got one. You randomly select three cards from a standard deck of 52 playing cards. What's the probability that none of the three cards drawn are hearts when you replace each card? So in this case, there are, well, 13 of each suit, That's and there's three suits that aren't a heart. So there's 39 out of 52, which reduces to three-fourths. There's a three-fourths chance that you draw a card that's not a heart. Now, if you go ahead and put that back in the deck, there's still 39 out of 52 cards that aren't a heart. So you would have that chance again, three-fourths. And if you do it again, there's three-fourths. Multiply straight across, and I get 27 out of... 4 times 4 times 4, is that 64? Which... Yuck! Is 0 0.421875, which is 42.1875%. You have a, about a 42% chance of drawing three cards and not getting a particular suit, in this case a heart. What if you don't replace each card? Well, the chances of getting a not heart is three out of four in the first one, but now when you're drawing again, there used to be 39 out of the 52 cards. Now there's 30 eight non-hearts, because you took one of them away, and there's 51 cards left in the deck. Now, if you somehow don't get a heart out of that one, you go again. There are now 30, only 37 non-hearts in the deck, and now there's only 50. Ye uck. It's 38. These cross divide, and that's going to become 19 and 2. Ooh, 3 and 51. 51 divided by 3. If you're not sure what I'm doing, I'm cross-reducing here. So that's going to give 3 divided by 3 is 1. 51 divided by 3 is 17. And I believe I'm out of luck here. So I'm going to go 1 times 19 times 37. 1 times 19 times 37 is 703. Out of, well, 2 times 17 times 50, which is 1,700. Uh, which, as a decimal, is disgusting. About four, 0 0.4135, which is about 41.35%. So compare your results. You are very slightly less likely to pull off the no hearts trick. If you don't replace your cards. Very good. I think that's it. Yeah. So that's an important one. If ever you find yourself on that uh, that game show with Wayne Brady, uh, let's make a deal because he plays this game with you. And if you don't want to get zonked, uh, you're not supposed to draw clubs. And so just remember this probability. And uh, and the truth of the matter is, go for a prize. Go for a prize, you guys. Uh, don't take don't take the money. You never know. You might you might get the prize on that particular game. Anyway. That's all I've got for you on this one. I hope you learned a whole bunch. This is Mr. P signing off. Please send a message to your instructor if you're feeling a little bit confused. Um, that's all I got for you. Have a wonderful rest of your day.